and we're live. Get it ready. feels like it feels <laughs> like in like the early in the hard. early two thousands you could get like the director's cut or like the DVDs that would have all these bonus features, and you'd watch them because you love the movie. But you'd be like, ah, I'm glad they didn't include that. Let's yeah. watch the next scene. <sighs> glad they didn't include that. It's just like this is just filler. This was rightfully cut. And then like every now and then there's a little gem or a different ending that's the better ending, like uh, the Will Smith movie um, that's the copy of Omega Man. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. Survivor. It's, it's the one where the, with yeah. the zombies. I am legend. The last, I am legend. legend. Yeah. Omega Man was the Charlton Heston version, and there's an even earlier version before that. Uh, Omega Man is great. I like Charlton Heston. But in any case, um, the, the alternate version of that's better uh, than the theatrical version of that you know the ending the ending is just mm -hmm. it's just better and um, then there's the um the asylum knockoff i am omega i haven't seen that. <laughs> that's so <laughs> bad with a uh, mark dacascos it's it basically think think sharknado only the omega man <laughs> okay uh, well sharknado must be doing pretty well because they made nine of them or something like yeah it became a meme movie it, it became a meme it made. became like a so bad it's Look, so bad it's good is people use that too much. Like there is a such thing as so bad it's good. It's frankly kind of the point of uh, Cecil's channel. It's just like it's mm -hmm. it's a lot of movies that are so bad they're good, or at or at least, yeah, this is bad, but it's got redeeming qualities. You don't even know. Like look at the backstory of this. Like there's a lot of that, but Sharknado is like silliness for the sake of silliness, and it, it's it's mm -hmm. it's almost like a parody movie at this. Speaking it, of like the way you yeah. said that, where it's like so bad it's good, uh, Cecil, what would you? Do you have any just off the top of your head of like the top few, like so bad it's good, like that you like, you personally recommend? Because I love movies oh, yeah. like that. That's my genre. So bad it's good, especially horror. Oh, yeah. Well, the um initially, like it's funny. Had I had thought about it, this is just gonna be a quick tangent. Um, when I was originally coming up with the name for the channel, I wasn't thinking like so bad it's good movies. I was thinking like movies that, uh, you know, talking about the good and the bad, as well as movies that are perceived as bad, but really are good. John and J right. John Carter of Mars. Well, actually, just John Carter, because that's how they released it. But I think if they would have put it John Carter of Mars, it might have done better. It's another one I want to do a video on. But um, I. I think that there's a lot of uh, people out there that they'll see the name of the channel. I've actually gotten a lot of people who they're like, I've, I've avoided your stuff for so long because of the name. And then I see it and that's not really what you're talking about. You're not, uh, you know, they assume that I'm doing something where I'm just trashing a movie where it's like, no, I'm, I'm kind of talking about like the love of these movies, mm -hmm. but um, some really uh, so bad. It's good movies. I'd, uh, I just recently saw one I'd never heard of before, and I saw it, and I thought it was hysterical. Uh, it was a movie called Dirty O'Neill. It was a movie from the 70s where it was this cop in a small town, and every woman just wants to have sex with him. And, <laughs> like, right. it's it's, like, ludicrous. Like, he'll see a girl hitchhiking, and he'll pick her up, and she's just like, hey, and then they're having sex. And <laughs> then uh, there's a girl who is... Um, She's she's holding a uh, she's jumping out of a cake for like a bachelor party and all the guys are so horned up. They all chase her around the hotel and the cop happened to be there and he sees her and she's like, save me. And they go into like a supply closet. And then while they're in the supply closet, they're like, what are we going to do in here? Oh, let's have sex. And then it like about an hour into the movie, there's a brutal rape and it's like, oh, Oh, it kind of like it hits you and then all of a sudden it returns it turns into yeah. like this revenge movie where not the everybody wanted to go after him, apparently right, well that well he well that was the thing he didn't it was these these gang members who oh. came into town it wasn't it wasn't uh dirty o'neill dirty o'neill was the, the hero throughout all this and then uh he so he has to go out and get revenge on the guys it's it's a crazy movie uh that one's really good i'm trying to think of horror movies that are uh that are bad there's um uh, Scared Stiff, which is one I did a video on a while ago. That one is pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, that one's a lot of fun. It's all about just evil pigeons. And like, <laughs> <laughs> is it the, 19, What's, uh, the 1953 or the 1987? There's a uh, the 1987 movie. one. Okay. There's a movie called a horror movie called like The Hole or The Hole in the Ground or something like that, where the little boy is going to the hole in the woods and there's like a creature down there or something. Oh, uh, the pit. The pit. the pit yeah 
where it was actually um, the book that it was adapted from. It was all about uh, this kid who was just like mentally disturbed. And when the director who got the job basically got the job because he was the only one at the studio at the time, they called up and they were like, hey, uh, you're a director. And I was like, yeah, you want to do a movie? Uh, sure. And so like they gave him this movie to do and he ended up changing the whole thing and made it all about this. Uh, there was actually these little demons and, and it's a, that, that one's a lot of fun. That one is another one. That's, yeah, he's uh, like, that's just he's crazy. like luring people to the hole or the pit and like either tricking them into like, he's like, go long, like, you know, or, or and then they'll fall in the pit and basically feeding people to the, the demon creatures that are down in the hole. That <laughs> one's kind of a, so bad. It's good for me. Um, things like the ghoulies, uh, which is kind of a gremlins knockoff puppet Ooh. master movies uh, mm -hmm. in the mouth of madness uh, to some extent. Like it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Um, I, I, but, but I like all that stuff. I, I, I like horror. Um, I like horror for what it is. I can, I can watch a bad horror movie and, and see sort of like, ah, okay, I see what they're going for. All right. Like, mm -hmm. This isn't supposed to be scary. This is supposed to be ridiculous. We, uh, we talked about this one a while ago. I don't remember if you, saw just the end scene or if you actually watched it kyle the sleepaway camp the 80s horror movie oh yeah where the girl turns out to not be a girl yeah mm. yeah where it's just uh have you seen that one cecil i think oh yeah has. yeah i did a i did a video on it a while ago with um it's it's crazy that one is um the movie where a lot of people they don't remember it but they're like what was that movie where it was a horror movie and it was a girl and then at the end uh, and it's like oh my god it was you know that's a that's a yeah. dick and then at the end it's like oh she grew a dick and a foot taller same face though yeah <laughs> yeah the, the guy i may have heard it in your video like, like they just hired some guy to, to like put on a mask of the girl and just stand <laughs> there like with his dick out and he was like really embarrassed and nervous about it so he got drunk before so he's just like standing there like with his dick out on in this movie and maybe even they don't they still don't know who it was like like my, that might have been part of like the mythology of this he was, movie he was nervous for the easiest acting gig in history yeah but his Where dick's this out and, stand there and like and you know he, to be fair he's not like a super well hung guy you know and and this is a feature film you know it's gonna be was this big Back I mean, it, it's not like a blockbuster, big. but like it's going to be a, it's shown across it, the country. You know, it played it's, the you know, it played the grindhouse theaters. It played uh, the drive ins and stuff. And uh, yeah, it uh, I mean, it wasn't um, I don't think it really took off until like VHS mm. um, when when word of mouth started spreading about it. I mean, that's when I saw it. I saw it, I think, sometime in the night in the early 90s. And, um, yeah, it was a, uh, it was a kid. He was a, uh, a college student and that was really all the information that they had about him was that, uh, he was a college student. He needed some money and they were like, Hey, uh, come here, wear this mask and, uh, just stand there naked holding a, a, a severed head. And yeah, he got real nervous and he got drunk. And so I, I'm sure somewhere on the books they have who did it, but, uh, they don't want to say probably cause nobody knows who it is and he probably has a family now he doesn't want to oh yeah there's me naked you know? yeah that's what if the woman's a, head on what if he's a famous actor now <laughs> it's like yeah. you can't yeah. let that's, like, you know, that's matthew mcconaughey this man, it, was, it was george clooney you know <laughs> yeah